New York has one. So does New Orleans, Los Angeles, Phoenix, Memphis, and Seattle. We decided Spokane needed a bucket list guide too. So the staff of the Spokesman Review has just published 100 Things to Do in Spokane Before You Die. Our book is a handy insider's guide to our hometown. You'll find can't miss destinations for food and dining, entertainment, arts and culture, shopping, and outdoor adventure. Yeah, we're big on outdoor adventure around here. We have a newsroom full of people who write about these subjects daily. And we decided to put together a book based on our own favorites and bucket lists. A guide to the best Spokane has to offer. It's a collection geared toward visitors and locals alike. You probably know about our famous hotel, but do you know what to eat there? Or how to get seats at a Zags basketball game, the hottest ticket in town? Did you know our most famous resident had more hit songs than Elvis, The Beatles, and Michael Jackson? Bing Crosby even won an Oscar. You can see it at Gonzaga University's Bing Crosby House Museum. We'll also tell you where to get a seriously good burger, like the Thrifty Scotsman's Super Bacon. Sports editor Ralph Walter says to ask for it loaded, a secret that's not on the menu. The Thrifty Scotsman is among the classic local joints on our nostalgic burger tour. Go big on your burger choice or don't go at all, says Ralph. The Spokesman Review has been this region's daily newspaper for 135 years. We know things. We love to share the secrets behind our iconic clock tower and the gargoyles that guard our building. 100 Things to Do in Spokane Before You Die is a fun read and a good deed. Proceeds from the sales of this book help support our local journalism and our popular community forums. The hardest part of this book project? Paring down an ever-growing list for a slim volume of just 100 picks. So we'd like your help. What bucket list destinations did we miss? Tell us in person, share your photos, or email bookclub at spokesman.com. We can't wait to hear what's on your Spokane must-do list too. Tonight, you'll hear from some of the book's contributors and a few special guests. But first, let's kick off the evening with Spokane's king of the outdoors. Rich Landers joined the Spokesman Review in 1977 and has been writing about hiking, hunting, fishing, and boating ever since. Please welcome Rich Landers to the Northwest Passages stage.